Welcome to History from the Horse's Mouth. Today's question is... That's right! A carriage typically refers to a four-wheeled, horse-drawn passenger vehicle. But just like the cars of today, there were many different kinds, styles, and purposes. Let's take a look at a few. A barouche was a large, four-wheeled passenger vehicle with a collapsible hood. A box seat out front for the driver and facing seats inside for two couples and was pulled by four horses. A chaise was a light, open, four-wheeled traveling carriage drawn by one or possibly two horses designed for two passengers. A public post chaise was often painted yellow with a postillion riding one of the rented horses and could be hired by the mile. A coach was a large four-wheeled carriage with a curved underbody. Windows on all sides, an elevated exterior seat for the driver, and room for four passengers. It might even have had a coat of arms painted on the doors. Fast and fashionable, a curricle was a light, two-wheeled, two-passenger chaise drawn by two horses abreast perfect for short trips or showing off one's horses or skill driving them. Possibly the most common, a gig was a two-wheeled, two-passenger carriage typically driven by a single horse. A hackney was a carriage for hire, often in shabby condition either because they had been purchased used to begin with, or due to the wear of continuous use. A Landa was a four-wheeled, four-passenger carriage with a two-part collapsible hood and an elevated exterior seat for the driver. It was drawn by four horses. A mail coach raced along fixed routes changing its six horses at regular post stops to hurry passengers and mail from one place to the next. A phaeton was a light, fast, four-wheeled, two-passenger open carriage drawn by two or possibly four horses. The high perch or high flyer variety required a ladder to climb inside and was such a flashy vehicle it was favored by Prince George himself. Thank you for getting your history straight from the horse's mouth. If you have questions for Lady Iphigenia, the history horse, please email them to her assistant. And we'll see you next time.